hi everyone uh, in today's video i take up a new cargo work numerical uh, this is example 7 if you have not watched the previous uh, videos then you may find the links to those videos in the description section below let's get started with today's question in today's question we have a cargo hold the dimensions of which is 12 by 12 by 7 meters so that is length by breadth by height of the cargo hold and this cargo hold is to be loaded with steel pipes the storage factor of which is 1.06 metric cube per ton and wire rod coils the storage factor of which is 1.85 metric cube per ton the load density of the tank top is 5 ton per meter square you have to calculate how many tons of each cargo can you load at one time and also calculate the height up to which both cargo can be loaded so the dimensions of the cargo hold are given to you the details of the cargo that is the storage factor is given to you and the load density is given to you so let's understand what is a load density first so when the load density is 5 ton per metric square that means every metric square that is 1 meter by length of 1 meter by breadth you can load maximum of 5 tons all right however this cargo hold has a length and breadth of 12 by 12 that means this cargo hold is of course 12 by 12 me and my terrible drawing here you can see so 12 by 12 meters right so how much is the maximum weight you can load in this cargo hold so you have to find the area of the cargo hold and then multiply it by 5 tons because every metric square every 1 meter square you can load 5 tons so if you find the area of the cargo hold area of cargo hold which is length by breadth in this case is length by breadth which is equal to 12 by 12 meters then this is 144 metric square right so maximum cargo that is the weight of the cargo remember all right maximum you can say amount or weight of the cargo that can be loaded in this cargo hold in this particular cargo hold is nothing going to, but 144 metric square by 5 tons so every metric square is 5 tons so 144 metric square is 144 times 5 which is 720 tons of cargo so this is the maximum cargo you can load I change the pen color of the pen all right now you have to find out how much of each cargo you can load so let x be uh, tons of steel pipe so weight of the steel pipe let it be x because we don't know how much we can load and y be tons of what is the other cargo wire rod coils all right so this is the weight of the each cargo that you can load so we don't know what it is so x plus y and maximum you can load is 720 tons you cannot load more than 720 tons no matter how much you load you cannot load more than 720 tons so the total weight of the steel pipes plus the total weight of the wire rod coils should not exceed 720 doesn't matter how much weight you are loading of each we can find that out later this gives us our equation number one all right so what will be the equation number two so now to find equation number two we have to first find out what is the total volume of the cargo hold what is the volume of the cargo hold available to us so we are we have found out how much weight we can load but we also have to find out the total volume of cargo hold which is nothing but length by breadth by height of the cargo hold which is given to us already so this is 1008 metric cube volume is always metric cube area is meter square right so if this is the total volume available to us how much volume will each cargo occupy now we don't know how much volume will each cargo occupy because we do not have the weight or the um, weight or the amount of the cargo we can load so we have to find out so remember before in my previous videos i have explained the relationship uh, to so remember density is equal to mass over volume right 
but when it comes to storage factor the relationship is something like you know storage factor is not exactly this is the relationship but this is how you should remember the formula if you make storage factor 1 by density you will be able to apply this formula better so if i say 1 by storage factor is equal to mass by volume then volume will be equal to do a cross multiplication is equal to storage factor times mass so this is how i remember the relationship i'm not saying you have to remember it this way but this is the relationship between volume storage factor and mass so we don't know how much volume each cargo will occupy so volume occupied by steel pipes right will be equal to storage factor of steel pipes which is given as 1.06 multiplied by mass of the steel pipes which we have considered as x all right so we have been given storage factor here remember storage factor is given as 1.06 and wire rod coils is 1.85 so similarly volume occupied by coils wire rod coils is equal to the storage factor 1.85 multiplied by mass of the coils that is y and total volume available to us is 1008 metric cube anyway so we know this is 1.06 x plus 1.85 y will be cannot be more than 1008 metric cube which is the total volume of the cargo this gives us equation number two all right now all we have to do is equate these two so equation number one and equation number two so what is equation number one is x plus y is 720 so we have x plus y is equal to 720 now we have to we have two variables or two unknowns in both equations now how can we cancel out one unknown is we can choose any one unknown and cancel it out all right so i say i will cancel out y i will not cancel out x i will cancel out y all right uh, or let me cancel out x doesn't matter it's the same thing all right let me cancel out x so how can i cancel out x is if i make both these x values same so how can i make both these x values same i will multiply equation 1 by 1.06 i'll multiply the whole equation 1 by 1.06 not only x but the whole equation i cannot just choose x and multiply it so i will keep equation 2 as it is 1.06 x plus 1.85 y is equal to 1008 i'll keep equation 2 as it is but equation 1 if i multiply each of the values with 1.06 what do i get 1.06 x plus 1.06 y is equal to 720 times 1.06 is 763.2 all right so i have multiplied equation 1 by 1.06 why because then these x values become the same so if i subtract equation 2 from equation 1 these x values cancel out all right so 1.85 y minus 1.06 y will be equal to 0.79 y and this also if i subtract i will get 244.8 so y will be equal to 244.8 divided by 0.79 which is equal to 309.873 tons so you've got the weight of the wire rod coils already you can load is 309.8 tons and then if total weight you can load is remember we wrote equation x plus y is equal to 720 you have found out what is y so this becomes x plus 309.873 equals 720 so weight of the steel pipes that you can load will become 720 minus 309.873 which is equal to 410.127 tons so you have found out weight of steel pipes as well all right so if you have two equations like that you can either choose x or y and then cancel out so if i had to cancel out y i would have multiplied equation 1 by 1.85 making both the y values same and then cancelling it out so you can choose either you will still get the same answer now the last part of the question is uh, what is the height of both types of cargo you can load up to all right so remember the second part of the question was uh, calculate how many tons of each you can load 
we have done that i also calculate the height up to which both cargo can be loaded all right so we have to find that out as well so i will change the color of the pen so that it doesn't become too monotonous for you guys so the height so let's find the height now all right so we have volume occupied by steel pipes first let's find out the height of the steel pipes volume occupied by steel pipes is equal to remember the formula we did was stowage factor multiplied by mass so now we know stowage factor is 1.06 we also know mass is 410.127 so the volume occupied by the steel pipes is equal to 434.735 all right now if this is the cargo hold right, just get the cargo hold here all right so i'm getting a three dimensional here so see the length of the cargo hold and the breadth of the cargo hold will be covered anyway all right we cannot change that only the thing that will not be covered will be the height all right so to find out how much is it going to occupy the cargo hold we know the cargo hold length is this is the cargo hold all right so cargo hold length is 12 meters and breadth is 12 meters which has to be covered anyway you cannot uh, leave out length and breadth if you want to cover the cargo hold so the height of the steel pipes you know the total volume is 434.735 occupied by steel pipes and then you divide it by length by breadth of the cargo hold if you do that you will get 3.02 meters 3.02 meters is the height up to which the steel pipes have been loaded so the total height of the cargo hold is 7 meters you have already loaded 3 meters with the steel pipes similarly volume occupied by coils you can find out by storage factor multiplied by y you have determined that before you know the storage factor is 1.85 and the weight is 309.873 so the total volume occupied is 573.265 metric cube so similarly height of steel pipes or oh, height of coils height of coils is equal to total volume of coils and then when because it has covered the entire length and breadth you divide it by 12 by 12 and you will get 3.98 meters all right so three so the total height of cargo hold as you can see is total height of cargo hold given to you in the question was seven meters so out of seven meters 3.02 meters is covered by steel pipes and 3.98 meters is covered by coils 3.02 plus 3.98 is 7 meters anyway so it checks out all right so i hope you have understood this question and you have followed it and you understand the relationship between storage factor mass and volume and also how to form two equations and cancel out one of the variables how to find the total volume of cargo hold uh, what is uh, load density and how do you apply it so the load density gives us the total amount of cargo that we can load volume gives us the total amount of volume available to us for loading and uh, let me know if you have any other questions i'll be happy to answer it thank you for watching today's video